All right, let's get into this. Eric Arnold here in Sports Barn. Tuesday, about probably 1.30 in the afternoon. Uh, another horrible fucking baseball day. Just terrible. I mean, uh, whatever key or code is out there, I haven't found it yet. Uh, one for four. It was probably even worse than that because I missed some big favorites. So, <laughs> we're so far behind. We're so far below 500. I mean, we have to look up to tie our shoelaces. So, it's, it's bad. Um, we're going to throw, you know, I, I, I'm just going to basically go back to the model and just try to replicate what I was doing for college football last fall. You know, this is all pre-video, unfortunately. I have no proof of my winning record in college football other than me telling you what happened. Um, no videos exist. But, you know, the model for college football was a screaming winner. And I'm just going to try to replicate what I was doing there with baseball. And I'm just going to, I think that's what we're just going to do. One, it's so much goddamn easier. You know, instead of spending five hours working on this shit, I only had to spend two. And uh, that's, you know, I actually do have other things I want to do in my 24 hours. So I think that's where we're just going to go. And we're either going to show the model to be either a failure or better yet, you know, if it's complete failure and it's consistently wrong, that works too. We just bet against it every time. Subscriber Up's probably making a fortune doing that right now. Um, but, so that's what we're planning ahead. Uh, before we get into the uh, track of baseball, we got to talk college football. I think uh, uh, most people have seen by now that... Um, it's been canceled, though wait, maybe not, and, and we don't know what's happening. Um, you know, I, I guess I should be upset, and yeah, like I said, because I actually have a model that works in college football, I think. You know, there's no telling in this bastardized pandemic year where you're playing seven inning baseball games and no fans and... Uh, Half the team doesn't play because of some virus. Team's off for two weeks at a time. You know, crazy shit like that. So who knows if uh, the model would even work in a completely uh, a normal year like that. A typical year. Um, but um, I like college football. You know, I, I, I love it. I want to see it. I want to watch it. I'll tolerate fans not being in the stands. I'll take whatever I can get. So you would think I'd be a little more upset about the fact that it looks like it just might all go down the tubes. I, I, you know, I don't know. I, I Here's a couple things I see as good or optimist, reasons to be optimistic. Um, I told you people way back in the beginning in March that all this nonsense, all this restrictions and lockdowns and quarantines and masks and social distancing and all this bullshit, which is not keeping you any safer than if you just went out and lived your lives. All this would end when you people have had enough of it. I've had enough of it since last Easter, you know, whenever that was. March, April, whatever. You know, that's when I had enough of it. But, you know, I'm out there by myself saying, let's do it! Ho! Where's the guts? This is the, not the delta I used to know, you know that. But waiting for y'all to catch up, now I think maybe finally some people are catching up because what's the holdup? In other words, these guys, all these high level muckety mucks, these overeducated liberal presidents of all these universities, they all met Sunday night and decided to cancel it. But well, it's not canceled yet. You know, allegedly the Big Ten. Presidents were supposed to meet at 10.30 this morning, Tuesday, to cancel it. And it's still not canceled. You know, what's the holdup? Well, the holdup is that somebody, you know, I'm thinking people, you know, the people, that's the only thing that could be politically powerful enough to keep these liberal muckety mucks from canceling the season, which they're dying to do. Uh, there must be a hell of a lot of pushback. Great! Keep up the good work. Push back. That's right, my God, 
finally, enough is enough. I mean, let's put this safety issue aside, shall we? I mean, do you really think that these college athletes are going to be safer not playing football than if they were playing football? Uh, all things independent, and we're speaking only about the virus? Are you being serious? I mean, like they're going to catch the virus while they're doing seven-on-seven -seven drills out on the practice field, as opposed to, you know, having a party in the dorm. Do you really think that these universities, with whatever protocols they put in place for these college kids in these dorms, that it's going to be followed? Are you kidding me? Have you never met a college age person in your life? They're not going to do it. Why would they? They know damn well that if they do catch this virus, they'll get sick for a little bit. Maybe, very likely they won't. And then they're just going to get better. <laughs> they, there's no scariness to this for them because it doesn't really affect them. So they're not going to follow any of these guidelines and masks. and you know, They're just not. Uh, and to think that, at least with a college uh, football player is on the team, he's forced to do this stuff with the threat of playing time, which actually motivates these guys to do things they wouldn't normally do, like drink or do drugs. So, uh, player safety, give me a goddamn break. It's all about liability. It's all about the school's afraid of getting sued by some Karen. Just get over it. Just get over it. I mean... Jesus Christ universities, you guys employ lawyers. They should be the best in the damn state with what the people put in to these universities money-wise. You should have Clarence Darrow, uh, F. Lee Bailey, uh, freaking uh, Matlock, everybody. The best of the best. So win these goddamn lawsuits. Beat that Karen on the other side. Beat her. Beat her. Win that lawsuit. Damn it. Uh, and if you lose it, guess what? We'll just pay them. We'll just print more money and pay them. Just like we've been paying everybody in this pandemic. We'll just print more money and pay them. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Just do it. Play ball. The players want to play. The coaches want to play. And I think the people want you to play. That's the only thing I'm coming up with as far as... Uh, What's the holdup? You know, if the people wanted this canceled, it'd be already canceled. Yeah, uh, there'd be no delay, and there'd be no, oh, I don't know, you know, they'd be canceled. So I'm thinking, finally, finally, I might be in the majority of opinion on this type of thing. Oh, well, you know, it'll, whatever's going to happen is going to happen. You know, it, it, I think probably it's going to be... You know, maybe half the teams will end up playing in some fashion. You know, the SEC, I think, will play. Sounds like the ACC, strangely enough, is a, a, a attending on playing. Uh, that surprises me a little bit. Um, the Big Ten, man, I, I don't know what's How embarrassing. I'm a Big Ten guy. And it looks like, wow, we're going to... It looks like we might cave. I mean, that's embarrassing. I mean, at least some people stood up. Like guys I would normally, you know, hate. Um, I, I got to hate them just a little less. Jim Harbaugh. Hero. Trevor Lawrence. Hero. These guys are stepping up big time. So I'm, I'm relatively enthused. You know, at least some of the sporting community has finally drawn a line. Instead of, you know, every last ridiculous, you know, everybody trying to one-up each other on canceling stuff and, uh, you know, who can be the most uh, uh, safety conscious. At some point, enough is a let's get back to normal. God damn. All right. I, I probably got more to say on that, but the video will run long and it's uh, not at the top of my head. So let's just really go through the shitty baseball quick and that'll be that. All right. We had Atlanta, huge loser. Uh, who knew Sean Newcomb was so shitty? I guess uh, people that bet the Phillies did. Uh, this was disappointing. The White Sox didn't hit at all. Uh, that was one of my, I really thought that was a good one. Uh, but. Lost, they didn't hit, not at all. Um, that was our top rated play. 
uh, beating, we just got kicked, our asses kicked here. Uh, John Gray, terrible effort. Uh, we lose. Uh, awful effort here by the Rangers. They were playing so well, and then they just fucking shit the bed. Uh, a huge blowout loss. Uh, the Padres ruined the perfectly shitty night by uh, beating the Dodgers 2-1. to one. Uh, That was the only thing that kept us from going winless again. So, yeah, bad night. Um, like I said, we're, we're, I think what we're going to do is just go back to the model and just play the model. And uh, just because it's so much easier for me to do. <laughs> so this is what we got for you. Uh, we got Toronto, two stars at home over the Marlins. Uh, Yankees, one star at home over the Braves. Uh, three stars, the Orioles over the Phillies in Philadelphia. I, I, gee, it, I mean, the Orioles have just been playing fantastic. They basically swept the Nationals. They're above five. 500, they're easy to above or at 500. Um, you know, they're that much worse than the Phillies. They're, they're that much worse than the Phillies. They're plus 169 worse than the Phillies. I don't think so. The Indians, three stars at home over the Cubs. Uh, like I said, I've been looking for a place to play against the Cubs, and uh, the Cubs have been off now. Maybe whatever good baseball they were playing kind of rubbed off a little bit now. And uh, the Indians, uh, with that great pitching, I mean, you've been off for a few days, and now you're going to face a great pitcher? Tough. Real tough. Uh, Washington will take Scherzer. He's a, uh, uh, believe it or not, Washington plays better up at the, whatever the hell they call that ballpark in New York, the uh, Shea Park, uh, uh, Shea Field. Why can I not get this? That's uh, the thing of getting old. What was the old park called? Shea. Shea. Uh, Shea Field, Shea Park, Shea Place, I don't know. But anyway, they play better at City Field. That's a new one. City Field than they do at home, as far as the Mets go. So, we'll take Scherzer, we'll, we'll t t lay the number on the road. Uh, Milwaukee, two stars at home against the Twins. We'll flip over here to the uh, Diamondbacks, who looked so good last night. Uh, we'll play them at Colorado. They play good in Colorado. I disregarded that yesterday. Seattle will flip over. We're not that confident. One star will flip over to them. Uh, at Texas, one star. Uh, Houston, three stars at home against the Giants. I don't know. I was writing this on the board and I thought, you know what? The Astros have won 100 games, I think, three years in a row. And now they're just in a little soft spell which happens to the best of teams. Uh, this is still probably a 95 to 100 win team. And you're only laying 166 against a below 500 team. I mean, that's probably a deal. So we're gonna go ahead and take that. Uh, I don't know what this is. The Angels minus 154, uh, one star. I, the model, I mean, you know, the Angels get another chance to burn us, and I'm sure they will. Uh, one star there with the Padres, uh, plus 145 uh, out at Chavez Ravine. So that's all we got for you. Like I said, I'm enthused a little bit here by the pushback by uh, sports fans and the regular Americans, if you wish, uh, uh, on the cancellation of college football. Um, you know, for that matter, uh, having people go back to school at all. You know, they, the, the polls around here, I mean, what the districts did around here is they sent out little uh, questionnaires to the parents. And, um, you know, according to sources I have within the uh, uh, education community, those are run 60-40, go back in person. You know, I've heard, uh, you know, somewhere as high as 70-30. Uh, so that's, that's a pretty strong pushback from the people saying, enough. You know, I do not want little Jimmy in here in the house. 24-7. I need to get rid of them. I can't, I, I, go send them to my uh, taxpayer-supported daycare. Get rid of them. So hopefully, maybe, the tide is starting to turn a little, back, a little bit back towards normalcy. Rather than this goddamn pandemic idiocy that we've been living in now for the last five months. All right. Enough. Enough. Good luck, good night, good day, good gambling.